I'm David Golden for Ishmosel and uh, we are visiting today the Rock Bear Fitness Gym in Belfast. I can say it's one of the home of the champions and one of the champions sitting just beside me, Phil Graham. How thank are you, you buddy? Much. I'm great, thank you. Um, Phil, I have to say, uh, after your great comeback uh, at the stage last year where you placed second in the class one in Naba Northern Ireland in Belfast, your popularity is just getting bigger and bigger, you know. I'm sure a lot of people will also know you from your postcards yeah. radio, which actually you, you're hosting with uh, some bad uh, I, I I've heard one of your postcards uh, with Brian Hickey, yes. and uh, I've been listening to that, and I have to say I was very impressed of your knowledge. Thank you very much. Thank you. Especially regarding that you're so young, yeah. you're 26, you know, Just I have to ask you, man, last week. where yeah. that knowledge coming from? How did you achieve that? Because it's very impressive. Yeah. You know, we're talking a lot of good tips about nutrition, supplements, training. It's very interesting, very helpful. Where are your knowledge coming well, from? Uh, about uh, 10 years ago, I, I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, and that basically set the foundation for me going into bodybuilding and, and training and, and getting my nutrition right. Um, and from that I went on to study nutrition in Queen's University Belfast. Um, currently studying my Masters in Sports Nutrition. So I've always had a passion and interest for health. And in turn that sort of transferred into my bodybuilding and, and my work that I do at the moment. So my podcast and stuff that I have out. And I work and coach with a lot of athletes and just general members of the public. And that's what I'm sort of known for um, in terms of getting people healthy, getting people in shape. Um, and bodybuilding is, is one of my favorite pastimes. Um, as I say, last year was the first time I was on stage in four years uh, from when I did the juniors. I was in 2009, uh, 2010 when I did the junior universe, yes. uh, junior Mr. Britain and junior Mr. World. How was that? I placed in, uh, fourth in every single one of them. Um, I ended up actually beating the junior Mr. Britain in the universe, which was uh, five to six weeks later. So, I mean, it was a, a hit or miss type thing in, in, in terms of winning the title and stuff like that. It was a very close line. Um, they say I've done a few photo shoots up until now and uh, I run my coaching business out of here Rockford Fitness in, in Lisbon, Northern Ireland. Um, I'll be speaking at Body Power this year as well. It's another big project I have lined up and we'll be launching a lot of nutritional and, and training seminars in 2015. Um, so I mean, you know, educating and empowering the public with some really good quality health, uh, nutrition and exercise information is, is my key goal. Um, I mean, I'm a, a firm believer if you, if you look after your health, your performance and your body composition will, will follow suit. Um, and I mean, we know bodybuilding isn't the most renowned for individuals looking after their health. They're all about the, the body composition change and the performance change and how much they can push and, and press in the gym with you know severe lack of interest and actually the longevity of it and how long they can do that for. Um, and I mean, I'm like you, I have a passion for the sport and I want to be able to do it for as long as I can. So the healthier that I, that I am, the longer I'll be able to do it for. Um, so I mean, that's really, um, where my, my knowledge has come from, I've just continually self-learned and I've traveled around the world and I, I always go to seminars and I, I'm always open to learning from various different sources as we discussed earlier, even the most rarest and you know surprising of sources uh, you can learn so much from. So it's always having a set of open ears and, and then back that up with experience of actually working with different people um, of different shapes, sizes, medical conditions and things like that. Um, you know, it, it, it really does just amplify the knowledge and, and experience, and, and it is what I am today. And that's very good because, uh, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people are grateful that you're actually sharing that knowledge, yeah. you know, on the Facebook and the social media, Postcast Radio, yeah. you know. I know that there is a big rumor on the Facebook right now that, you know, some of the athletes, some of the bodybuilders saying, oh, there's so many young bloods, you know, talking a lot. What, you know, all of that knowledge, what you have, you know, I'm yeah. sure the people are grateful. Well, about. I mean, at the same time, bodybuilding in, in my field of work is a very small, um, field um, I'm more interested in looking after the general public and, and promoting health and I mean if you ask yourself a simple question you know if you're a bodybuilder and you're genetically gifted why would you not want to get that extra one or two percent that could push you to be better than what you currently are so I mean you know a lot of the old school bodybuilding approaches now um, are being revamped with with bringing in a little bit of science and stuff like that so it's typically the way the world develops and everything so over time we get more information we learn more we get smarter we adapt make things easier for ourselves and in turn get more results out of you know less work ethic and things like that so it's a matter of being smarter with the nutrition and, and understanding it and understanding the principles of the human body and how it works 
and from that you can have a you know a, a far better response and far better results in less in less time and in a healthier way as well. So you know why would you not want to do that? You know so um, you know that to, to me I'm not out there to make a, a name for myself. I know it all. As I say, I'm very humble and you know I, I love learning things, but. It's like a race car, you, you want to fine tune it and every little bit of information that's going to benefit you, why would you not use it, you know? So that's, that's yeah. great. And Phil, uh, I would like to ask you also, would you be uh, keep continuing the podcast radio and what's the plan? Would you like to improve something? Yeah, well, and finally, where the people can find the, the podcast? Would yeah, the, the podcast uh, has only been launched about a month now um, and we're close to over five and a half thousand subscribers um, in the third episode. Um, so we um, are planning to do an episode roughly every two to three weeks, just generally build the uh, subscriber list up and then from that we're going to approach other top coaches within the industry across the world, so right to America and things like that and, and in turn use them and ask them questions and ask them for special guest interviews and help them give their insight into nutrition and training principles. Um, and as a general um, sort of ethos about the show, we really want to just be able to provide people with practical information they can take away and start using straight away um, and really highlight the importance of particular subjects. So, for example, in the first uh, episode, we talked about gut health, what me and you were talking about earlier, and, and you know how individuals in the bodybuilding world will not even consider the fact of how important the gut is. So, for example, if you're consuming an awful lot of meat all day long and you're spending a fortune on your your, your grocery bill, how can you be rest assured that all that money that you put in is actually being utilized for muscle growth and recovery and, and performance? So, you know, we want to maximize that in so many different ways. Um, so looking after the gut health and, and knowing how the gut works and knowing how to promote it and knowing what to avoid is very, very important. So That's a great, great that you, you'll be actually keep improving uh, the yeah. protest and uh, I'm sure a lot of people looking for it, you yeah. know. But now I would like to ask you about your own training because I know that the uh, end of the last year you, you had some surgery. Could yeah. you tell us what's happened? Yeah. How's the recap going? I, uh, as I say, the NABA last year I, I played second in class one um, and I came back into training and I was training around about six to seven, eight weeks and I picked up a string of injuries uh, and immune problems just basically to being under recovered and, and over trained. And I was that driven and focused to get back into the gym and, and get on with things. And um, I neglected a few things in my part and didn't take enough rest and enough downtime. And as a result, I paid the consequence by taking around about 20 to 24 weeks out downtime. So I'm currently back in uh, now. Uh, this is my 11th week. And um, things are going good. Muscle tissue's coming back on, staying nice and lean. I have to say, to healthy. recently you, you, you've been upgrading, uh, updating uh, your picture, you, you're looking good man, I think Thank you very the rehab much. going very very well, yeah, you know, I'm sure good. you set your goals for 2014, yeah, 2014. what are you be aiming for? Uh, 2014 I'm, I'm looking to compete in the WABA, uh, right. Northern Ireland, which is in October, um, that show there in particular is of interest and um, also the uh, NABA England um, is also uh, of interest which is right before the uh, Mr. Universe. Um, so if I can you know, hold my weight now and just get harder and tighter and, and improve my lean body mass and get stronger and stay healthier with it, stay injury free, uh, that's my goal. Uh, weight at the moment would be sitting around about uh, uh, 19 stone 2 pounds um, and I'm fairly decent, I'm in decent condition so um, I just want to sit in and around that and just get harder and harder and stronger. Um, as I say, current training split is um, around about five to six days on uh, at the moment and I'll run that until I get fatigued, until I get tired okay. and then I'll pull back uh, and I'll run a lower volume type split until I refresh and then go back in again. So uh, as we discussed earlier, you know, I'm providing that muscle with much more opportunity to grow um, and in turn my recovery and my nutrition and my rest is all in check yeah. and whenever that is exhausted, I'll then pull back on my volume um, and then recharge. So you're trying speak. to improve your, your legs, we were talking before. Yeah, my legs, uh, my hamstrings, uh, my calves um, are, are very important to me now to, to bring up and um, that be my main focus for are the last training, while. Are you training them in yeah, a different I way train, right now? Uh, I try to train every muscle group twice within a period of 78 days. Um, every single muscle group? Every it? single muscle group, so everything from calves right through to, to arms. Um, you know, I have a little bit higher volume on legs because it can take a little bit more. Um, you know, when we come to talking about program uh, prescription and stuff for individuals, 
there's no one program that works for everyone. You know, I think that it's a matter of trial and error and running through with, with what you feel works and what you see works. So you look at your performance, look at your, your, your feedback from other individuals, your pictures, compare them and periodically from, from you know, one month to the next and then assess where you're improving if you've improved enough. If you're not improving, then you need to re-question your nutrition, your training, and a whole lot of things like that. So, um, you know, it's a matter of, you know, with body and I think, really recording. So what, what tends to be measured tends to improve. Right. Um, you know, if, if you're just going in and winging it in the gym and, and not really looking at your pictures or your, your physique from period to period, um, how are you going if you're improving and whether you need to switch things up or, or, or put things down. So I like to exhaust the current approach and then change it radically and then try another one. And then, you know, I can dip and dial back into a previous approach if needed. So I guess, feel. So I see the, the goals are set. Are we are set for the good video, I should, yeah. for workout, so, maybe yeah, we have a chance to... We're going to get a couple of really good educational videos and workout, training yeah. and nutrition tips yeah. and stuff like that. And just uh, help give the public a greater insight into okay. you know, different ways to eat and the benefits of certain foods and nutrients, yeah. uh, certain different strategies to train and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and as I said to you earlier, you know, bodybuilding, I think a lot of bodybuilders focus purely just on the, the appearance yeah. side of things. And, they don't look at you know the whole um, performance side of things. So in my opinion, if you look good, you need to be able to perform good. So you need to be able to demonstrate good flexibility, speed, power, you know, strength. The whole the whole shebang. It's hard process. Uh, it's a hard process, and you know, keeping on top of your mobility is very very important as well. Um, so you know, your stretches, your your mobility work, you know, your myofascial release work, your deep tissue massage, seeing a good chiropractor, and things like that are all essential and, and essential tools of bodybuilder needs. Because uh, most people leave it too late until uh, they need treatment. Uh, most people leave it, you know, until something needs fixed, so to speak, uh, rather than maintaining a good level of mobility and tissue health in the meantime. You know, so. It's, it's very important. It's all what you're saying, you know, Phil, is very, very interesting. Yeah. You know, we could talk about yeah. that for yeah. hours, yeah. hours, you know, yeah. but we're going to leave it a bit, you know, for, for later on, yeah. you know, and uh, we are also looking for really cooperate with yeah. you, Phil Graham. And uh, it was a pleasure. Yes, thank uh, you very much. Shower with you. Thank pleasure you. To visit with yes. you. Guys, stay tuned. That was David Golden for Age Muscle and Phil Graham. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.